going to make good morning it is sunday another fun day in iso life um i'm playing animal crossing right now i'm meant to be making kimchi uh, but i'll do that later i just want to check my animal crossing friends i need to check on my island i need to shake all the trees and get all the fruits I have a visitor. Where is this visitor? I'll go have a look at them. I think I might need a bigger bowl. I'm just gonna let it sit there in salt and water for two hours. And then tossing occasionally. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the store now to get um, other supplies for kimchi making. Just wearing my bomber jacket from Uniqlo that I got a billion years ago. I'm also wearing some white leg jeans I got from Levi's and just this top, black top that I got from a sample sale in my old work. Um, yes, I'm gonna chuck on some sneakers and then go to the Asian store. I'm back from the Asian grocery store. Let me tell you that if you're living ISO life and you don't want to be close to people, going to the Asian grocery store is a bad idea because it's so narrow. Um, my cabbage is nicely wilted. It's only been like maybe an hour or so. I'm going to toss this a bit more and turn it in. Mm. Daikon. garlic, ginger. So I think I only need half of this.
Mm. Now I think I have too much daikon. Whoops. Okay, so now I'm going to make the um, slurry, the kimchi slurry for the kimchi. So I went to the store and I got um, this glutinous rice flour. By the way, I'm using a recipe from Mung Tea. She has a vegetarian kimchi um, recipe there and I really wanted to try it, so I'm doing that today. Oh, it's changed. 
Batch of kimchi. I'm so excited. Pretty sure the rest of it should fit in here. Right, now to wait for two weeks until it ferments. Yeah. Oh, that was an experience. Okay, it's like five o'clock now. Where did the day go? Uh, made some kimchi. Now I need to clean up this room because mess. So it's, what is it, Tuesday night and I just finished work, um, I've got a bit of, I've got this whole, like a pile of clothes that I need to um, quick upcycle I guess, or like just have a quick fix, not, to, not necessarily like a massive upcycle or anything, but just like little things that I can fix about them to make them wearable again. Um, so say for example, this jacket. It's an Anthea Crawford, like old school Anthea Crawford uh, jacket. It's really cute. Uh, the only issue is that it, like the buttons aren't going through it because they're all a little bit frayed. So I'm gonna um, just work on securing those and making them not frayed. Uh, yeah, and then it should be wearable again. So I've got something like that. I've got a couple of dresses to hem because they're too long. Um, yeah, so just a, some Tuesday night quick altering. Just gonna look up a YouTube video for how to mend buttonholes because I feel like I'll probably muck it up. Hmm. Got a buttonhole stitch maybe? been a whole week pretty much and it's the weekend now and I was meant to get through a whole bunch of mini sort of like just mending I would say mending and slight alterations to a lot of things that I had oh, so loud downstairs a lot of things that I had um, thrifted and just needed a few alterations so I've been doing that all week after work and uh, the button thing that took actually a lot longer than I expected. Also, I was distracted because I was watching a movie at the same time. And then I took in a skirt, I hemmed up one of my dresses, I took off the sleeves off one of my me like my own makes because it like did not move properly. And now I need to this weekend. Ugh, I'm gonna take this skirt in. It's a linen skirt that I got from. I think I got this one from Salvo's as well. It's a linen skirt, got it from Salvo's. I just need to take in the seams because it's got a lot of, um, it's like a good 
Godet, Godet skirt. It's got a lot of Godets. <laughs> so um, it flares out a lot in different various points. So I feel like somewhere there will be a seam that I can take in. Like maybe this one I can blend it in and this one. Yeah, so I'm just going to take that in. I think because it, it's so simple, like this is a really good skirt just to wear in the summertime with like a t-shirt. Um, yes, so that's my project for this weekend and like a couple of other alterations. I've still got like a whole pile of stuff to go through before I can even think about starting a new new project with like proper nice fabric so i'm gonna continue doing that and hopefully i i will plow through all of them this weekend oh because like the uh, restrictions in australia well in victoria have uh lessened a little we're allowed to sort of go outside and actually hang out with maybe more than two people i think it's like like five people in a private home and ten people outside obviously like socially distanced so yeah I'm gonna go for a walk with some friends that I hadn't seen in a while just two of them and yeah maybe get a takeaway coffee which I haven't done also for like how long has it been like two three months two months I think now since March it's like May now so yeah two whole months of like not actually buying any takeaway coffees or doing anything so yeah gonna gonna do that I've got like so many broken needles all over my um, desk so <laughs> I need to clean this also I'm very proud of my like um, sketching not sketching I'm actually really bad at drawing but I went through some of my old magazines because they're just taking up space and I just you know cut out all the things that I wanted to make you know I've got like a coat section I want to make like a nice pink coat I don't know how that's gonna go because I've never made a coat before but we'll try and then you know I saw a couple of dresses that I want to sort of make similar ish yeah so just gonna work through a couple of fun sewing activities once I get through all this mending. It's so nice! It's a nice day. Sunday so I ugh, it's so cold so I spent yesterday working on my mini mending of clothes that I bought from up shops and things that I needed to take up or hem or take in or whatever and I managed to clean out quite a bit I've got maybe just these to go through now which I think are actually going to be proper thrift flips so it was a skirt and my mum's dress um, a shirt and a really big jacket so I gotta do that yeah so I gotta work on those throughout the week and yesterday I went for a nice walk with some friends that was nice in an area that is nicer than my area um, oh my gosh my table's so messy and dirty Ugh. let's clean this uh, yeah, that was nice. I ate a donut. 
Oh no, I ate, I ate a cinnamon scroll, which I didn't feel, but I was just so hungry uh, that I decided to shove that down my gob. Yeah, that was nice. It was a nice day. Today's a nice day too, so maybe I should go for another walk, but I don't know. It's cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. Anyway, I have to finish more mending. <laughs> I finished mending my mama's pants and now I want to take a look at my plants I have um, in the garden there is an elephant leaf elephant ear plant I think it's called and it's just growing on the side of the house but I want to propagate it and make it live inside so I'm gonna go outside into the garden and I'm gonna cut some of it and then stick it in a jar and hopefully it will grow roots and I don't have to go and buy one in the stores. Um, so this, this is an elephant ear plant, right? I think it is, it looks like it. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> this one's actually really big. There's a couple of other ones that are smaller. Maybe I'll, I'll find one of them. Okay, these elephant <laughs> these elephant ear plants are like sprouting out from like a ginormous root, um, which I don't think my teeny weeny scissors are ever gonna cut through. Um, okay, I figured it out. I uh, use trustly YouTube. Um, elephant leaf plants are more like bulbs. So in order to trans like to propagate them, you'd have to pretty much just rip it out of the ground and then split them apart to get the bulb. Um, I don't have any soil with me, so I'm just gonna have to wait to do it. But yeah, I'll show you the plant. It's very cool. And I think I'll rip out this one. It's right next to me when I get soil. So you can see the plant and then here is the root. Um, which I will have to somehow rip out of the ground. <laughs> Maybe I could choose a smaller one, like this one. This one's small. Um, yeah. I've got a whole bunch of other ones down there. Um, my garden is a mess. Uh, but it's good because I can just rip out plants willy-nilly and put them inside. Oh. 